welcome everyone this is second lecture of design and analysis of algorithms and in this lecture we we'll learn about a nobel prize winning algorithm stable matching algorithm and also we we'll learn the algorithm with the help of bollywood and series tv series so let's start with the problem definition in stable matching problem we are given two sets on the left side we have n men m1 m2 up to nn mn and the right side we have n women w1 w2 wn each men has their own preference list and ordering of women according to their preference it's a complete order and each women similarly has their own preference list her ranking of men according to her preference and our goal is to match men and women into n couples such that these pairings are stable so we'll define what is stable but let's start with an example in this example there are three men b m and t let's say bernie marshall and tate i'll write b m t and they have their own preferences of women there are three women let's call them robin r lily l and christian c so each one has their own preferences Bernie's first preference is Christian. Second is Lily. Third is Robin. And Marshall has other preferences. Maybe first Robin, second Christian, and third Lily, and so on. And we need to find a match, a couple, three couples, a matching of these people, which is stable. So none of the uh, the pairs um, would like to break it and elope with some other pairs. So to to explain what is instable, now let's go to some hindi bollywood movie examples so this example is from a movie kabhi alvida na kehna in this movie shahrukh s and priti they are matched they are a couple and abhishek a and rani r they are also matched another couple in the preference list shahrukh has first preference for rani second is priti in rani it was first preference is shahrukh s and second is abhishek in this case if we represent this pre this preferences let's say the dark gold line green gold line it represents the top preference and the lighter one dashed line it uh, represents the second preference so we see that shahrukh prefers rani over its current match priti similarly rani prefers shahrukh over its current match abhishek so this is an unstable player pair in this case this will break and shahrukh and rani will form an edge and that's called instability the original match in matching sp and ar was not a stable matching whereas if i match sr and ap that's a stable matching because now they will not elope with each other formally a matching is stable if it is perfect so every vertex is matched So, if there are n cross in in graph theory theory terms, we have a bipartite complete bipartite graph. One side has n vertex, other side also has n vertex, and all of these n vertices are matched with some other n vertices on the right side. And there is no instability. An instability is the case when there are two edges in the matching M W and M prime W prime, such that M prefers W prime over its current partner W, and W prime prefers m over its current partner m prime so we are not talking about m prime and w prime we just we are talking about two people m and w prime who are in different pairings right now and they prefer each other over their current pairing in this case it's an instable pairing and the matching is not stable we saw the example in k and k now let's go to the example of this where we have preferences of men and women and we want to check which matching is stable so let's start with an assignment where bernie is matched with robin marshall with lily and ted with christian now is this stable if we see in this matching in this case all the girls they are getting their top preferences so but robin is getting her top preference bernie lily is getting her top preference Marshall and Christian is getting her top preference Ted. So there is no reason for the, any of these women to deviate 
to form another partnership. So this is a stable matching. Similarly, let's look at the second matching where Bernie is matched with Christian, Marshall with Robin and Ted with Lily. In this case, if we see all these men, they are getting their top preferences. So Bernie is getting Christian, Marshall is Robin and Ted is getting Lily. So again, they don't want to deviate any of the men. So in the first case, women are happy. They are not deviating. The second case, men are happy and they are not devi deviating. So both these are stable matchings. In the third case, if you look at things are more complicated. So now if you see, everyone is getting their second preference. So Bernie is getting Lily, who was his second preference. Lily is getting Bernie, again, second preference. Now if you see, we can check one by one. This is also stable. So think of one example, Bernie and Lily. So Bernie will only deviate if he gets someone better, Christian, in her list. But look at Christian. She is already matched with Marshall, who she prefers over Bernie. So there is no point for Christian to form an age with Bernie because she is already getting someone who is better than Bernie. So this is, this is again stable matching. So though none of the men or women are getting the top preferences, it's still stable because what they're getting is kind of best under stability. Now look at fourth example. In this example, let's look at the case of Ted and Robin. Ted currently is getting Christian and Robin is getting Marshall. But Ted in her list prefers Robin over Christian and Christian uh, and Robin in, in her list prefers Ted over Marshall. In this case, this is not a stable matching because Ted and Robin, they will form an edge. They are preferring each other over their current partners. So we saw some examples and some matchings are stable and some are not. But it's not clear whether there is always a stable matching for every set of preference list. So it's an existential question. Even if we, if we give you um, exponential amount of time, can we really say this property is true? Always we can get a stable matching. And second question is, if it is true, can we efficiently construct a stable matching, which is an algorithmic question or constructive question? So we'll study this question, but let's spend some more time with Bollywood and look at what kind of stable matchings are there. So first example now we'll see is from a movie, Dil To Pagale. So most of my examples are from 90s and 2000. If there are recent examples, let me know. I will update my slides with movies from after 2010. So in this movie, the edges, the green edges are showing the showing women's top preference and red edges are showing men's top preference. So in this case, men have same, same preference and women also have same preference. So Shah Rukh prefers first Madhuri and then Karishma, M and K. Akshay prefers first Madhuri and second Karishma, same preference for both men. Women also same preference, Madhuri prefers Shah Rukh and then Akshay, Karishma prefers Sharuk and then Akshay. This is the situation. So this red and red are top preference for men and green are green are the top preferences for women. Now look at some pairings. If we look at this pairing, is it stable? Yes, because in the first pairing, Both are getting their top preferences. This is stable. This is stable. And Shahrukh is happy. And uh, sorry, in this case, Shahrukh and Madhuri, they are getting top preferences. So they will form a matching and other will get the other edge. So Shahrukh and Madhuri are happy. Other two are not getting the top preferences, but still it's stable matching because no, uh, once you, once a couple get, um, their own top preferences at each, each other, there is no chance that they will deviate. On the other hand, if we form like this, this is not a stable matching because then this will be formed. And this is an instability and this is not a stable matching. Now let's look at the second case. When similarly again, men have same preferences, agree on the ordering of women, but women have different preferences. They don't agree on the order. So this is the example from movie Ranjana where Akshay, um, uh, Abhay Deol he, 
he prefers sonam kapoor and then bindya goswami and um, swara bhaskar who was playing the role of bindya so i called caller b and s and abhay a and dhanush b and sonam has preference abhay and dhanush dhanush has preference same as other man abhay a and b but bindya or uh, swara bhaskar she has different preference b dhanush and then a in this case if we look at what are the stable matchings again as both a and s prefer each other this one is stable and they are happy and she is also happy because she is getting the her top preference but not him so almost everyone is happy whereas if this this was the case then this is not stable so in both the cases we found there is a unique stable matching now let's look at some more examples when men have different preference and women also have different preference but they align so traditional sanskari movie hum saath saath hai in this case salman s likes uh, sonali s and saif ali khan k likes karishma k so there is so like great match that even the names are same and their orderings are opposite so he prefers s over k and he prefers k over s here also s k and k s so men have different preference women also have different preference but they align whoever is is top preference of salman the same person is also top preference um the uh, for the same person he is also the top preference so now if we look at this is a great situation because now all are happy 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 and stable on the other end this is not a stable situation and finally we'll see the last example which is from a movie style now men have different preference so there is this is a movie from i think to early 2000 is sarman joshi j sahil khan k riya sen r and shilpi mudgal m and they have opposite preferences so he prefers r over m and he prefers m over r and women have again opposite preferences j over k and k over j but they don't align so though k prefers r over m r prefers opposite she prefers j over k in this case we see both of them are stable so there are two stable matchings two stable match and in this case what is happening is in in the first matching the men are getting their women are getting their uh, let me understand so green was women preference and red was men preference so so in the first case women are are happy men are not happy in the second case men are happy women are not happy but still both are stable there there is no way you'll deviate because at least one side is getting the top preference so that that side will not change their current pairings so this shows the case when um, um there are two stable matchings in all three previous cases there was only one stable matching so we saw the stable matchings and now we have to check with the algorithm and in the in the first approach we'll start a heuristic called local search so we start with any arbitrary assignment and then we gradually perform exchanges to resolve instability that's kind of the simplest algorithm one can start with so in this case let's say we have a situation where there is three men a b c and three women q r s and this is the preference order red shows the preference of men so first preference for a is r and then second one is q and third one is s similarly for women q first preference is a then b then c second prefer uh, second preference and three is b third preference so we start with some assignment where we have a q b r and c s 
Is it stable? No. If we see, look at A and R. Currently, A is getting Q. But Q is second preference. It prefers R over Q. On the other hand, presently R is getting B, which is third preference. And it also prefers A over B. So this is not a stable matching. So there is an instability at AR. So we'll form a new edge here and we'll break it and uh, we'll get a pairing of AR and BQ. It is slight delay, I guess, um, because of the connection. Let me see. Yes, now it's back. So now if we look at this assignment, again, we'll find there's an instability. C R C prefers R over S and R prefers um, C over its present match K. So again, we can swap, do a local search and we get this and we can continue doing this. And finally, we'll arrive in the case on the extreme left where we have match like A S B R and C Q. And in this case, again, we'll see an instability at AQ. And then we are back to square one. We'll again get the first, first case. So this, this shows an infinite loop. So this algorithm does not work. Next approach will be simple greedy. This previous case, we saw an infinite loop. Second case, then we, we try a simple greedy that let main propose one by one and whenever a man is proposing, it will be matched to its current available highest preference. Will it work? No. The issue is when there are some men who have same top preference, this will not work. So think of a case. There are pairs M1, M2, W1, W2. M1 prefers W1 as, a, as its first preference and W1 prefers M2 as its first preference. M2 prefers W1 as its first preference. Now, if M1 proposes to W1, according to the algorithm, we'll match M1 and W1. But then later, if M2 comes, then M2 prefers W1 and W1 also prefers M1. So there's an instability and that's uh, the previous match will be broken. So what can we do? And there is a Nobel Prize winning idea that what we can do is if we outright reject the person M1, that's not good. There is no guarantee a woman will really get a better preference at the later stage. So we will enter an intermediate engagement stage. And later, if she gets a better proposal, then we can break it and match with the match with her present best proposal. And this algorithm is called deferred acceptance. In the next part of the video, we'll go over the algorithm in detail. Thank you.